Right, so hey guys, and welcome back to another Python tutorial. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually create a keyword search algorithm using Python. So you might be wondering what this is. So this is just going to be um, a nested for loop, which is going to help you um, go through a string and then find out if there is any repeating keywords in there. And basically, it's going to print out the count of each word that you give to it. So many search engines use these algorithms to kind of rank keywords up. So this might sound a bit confusing right now, but as soon as I start coding, you understand what I mean. So I'm going to go ahead and open Visual Studio Code like always, and then maximize that and zoom in a bit so that you guys can see a lot more clearer. Cool. So I'm going to create a new file now and then save this file as searchengine.py dot py because it's a python file so we got to use the python extension save this up and now we're going to start so as i was saying before in this tutorial we're creating an algorithm which means it's going to be like a method that's going to help us do something so this algorithm what it's going to do is um let's assume this was google right and we typed in something like um i don't know how to uh how to create youtube something like that so what Google would go ahead and do is it would take this whole string obviously it has a bit more complex algorithm but let's just say Google would take this whole string and then convert this string into individual words and then these words would then be stored in an array now when it comes to shopping and stuff um, a certain keyword can be ranked up or lower or even on YouTube so search algorithm certain keywords are ranked more than other ones so that's what we're going to be doing. So for example, in this case, our algorithm is going to return how equals one, two equals one, create equals one. And, and we also have another keyword in there, which is YouTube and that two will equal one. So in the case of which we actually go ahead and edit our search query and type in YouTube again in there, what should go ahead and happen is our algorithm should return YouTube two. So basically what it's doing is it's ranking the keywords or giving us a count of the keywords from our search. So without further ado, let's actually start coding this concept. So first off, what we're going to be needing is a variable that's going to store our search criteria. So search equals, let's um, just say how to create a password um, generator using Python. So let's assume this was our search query. Now we've got to break this search into different words because right now it is just a whole string um, as one unit. We've got to break it into different words. So, so, do, so to do so, we're going to type in a new variable called words equals that to search dot split. So what this will do is it's going to convert this search string into an array of different words. So when I print, for example, words uh, zero, it's going to print the word that is at the zeroth position, which is how. If I print words one, it's gonna print two. Let me run this and show you. So if I run it, as you see right here, it says two. Now, if I go ahead in here in the terminal and type in, I don't know if I can, probably cannot, but um, if I change this number to two, okay, for some reason, Visual Studio Code has frozen. So we're gonna have to task manager to the rescue. And then we're going to have to find out why it just froze on us. So I'm going to close that off. Open Visual Studio Code again. Hopefully it's going to be saved. Okay, perfect. It is saved. Now I'm going to go ahead and access words 2. Or let's say 3. So what it should return when I type in 3 is it should return 0, 1, 2, 3. So it would return A. Actually, let's go with 4 so that it returns password. So now when I run it, it returns password. Cool. So as I said, it has been able to successfully convert this whole string into individual words. Now, once that's done, we're going to need a dictionary, which is going to store the counts against the words. So it would be something like how is going to have one, then it would be two is going to have one. And this is all going to be automated. For now, it's going to be blank. We're going to populate it in the loops. And we're also going to need another variable called count, which is going to keep a track of 
how many words are being discovered. I'll come across this later. We're, we're gonna come across this later, so that'll make a bit more sense in a bit. In a bit. Not in a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and create my first for loop now. Now this first for loop is going to be a pretty simple one. So for a variable i in range from 0 to length of words, this basically means this loop is going to run from the number 0 to whatever the length of words is. So how many words are in here? So there are how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's 8 words in there. So this loop is going to run 8 times. So pretty much it's going to help us go through each word and search this string to make sure it doesn't have a repeating form of itself. So we're going to go ahead and then um, assign a new variable. So we're going to type in first word equals words i. So what this is going to do, let me show you real quick. This is going to, this loop right here is going to go through each word in this array one by one. So let's run that. And as I said right there, it goes through each word one, one at a time. So in the first iteration, it went through how, second iteration went it through, and then as on, it just kept going on. And if I change the string, it will work as well because it's going based on the length of words. So it will dynamically adjust itself when it needs to. So now, since we've got the first word, what we're going to be doing is we're going to have a second loop that pretty much checks whether the first word matches any other words in the string or in this array. So let's say the first word was how. The second word is going to be to. Then uh, if it doesn't match with this, the second word is going to be create. If it doesn't match, it's going to be a. If it doesn't match, it's going to be password. If it doesn't match, it's going to be generator. If it doesn't match, it's going to be using. And once again, if it doesn't match, it's going to be Python. Now, if none of the words match, count is going to be on zero. And then we're going to basically take the first word and then push it into our counts dictionary with a count of zero. Now, if there was a case where the, there was another how in here, the second word will pretty much realize that it's matching the first word. And then it would update the count to two. And then it would be pushed as how, comma, two. Now this will make a bit more sense as soon as we start coding the second loop. So now the second loop is going to be nested in the first loop because we need the first word first and then the first loop is going to wait for the second loop to complete. So for i in range, pretty much the same thing we're doing again. 0 to length of words. So we need to go through the entire array again because we need to check whether this first word matches any other words in that array. Um, we need to do a variable called second word which is going to be equals to words i again because we need to pretty much go through all the words in that array so second word is going to include every other word in that array and then we need to do an if condition here so if first word equals second word then what we want to do is go ahead and update our count so count equals count plus one so if the first word matches the second word, then we update our count from zero to whatever, how many words it's matched. Now we've also got to realize that once we're done with the first word, it's also going to move on to the next word. So when we move on to the next word, we don't want our count variable to be stuck on a specific number, which is why we need to reinitialize it to zero. So before we do that, we actually need to go one and then back in the if statement. And then as soon as we have our count, for that word that we were talking about, we're going to be pushing the first word and then we're going to be giving it the value of count. So that's the first word is going to be the key and the count is going to be our value. And then once that's done, we reinitialize count to zero. Now, lastly, after this, after both these loops are done, it should just return the outcome to us. So if I go ahead and type in print counts, it should pretty much just print the counts of all the words to us. Let me run this quickly. And as you see right here, how, zero, two, zero, create, zero, eight, zero, password, zero, generator, zero, uh, hyphen. Okay, why is it saying zero actually? It should say one. Mm, let's take a look. Oh, I see. So this counts needs to go another end and back and the count equals zero needs to go another end and back as well because that needs to be happening after the second loop has ended. So let's run this again and it should hopefully work this time. 
Yep, it is working. So as you see, all the keywords that we have have a count of one, which is true. Let's go ahead and check if that's true. It is because we have all the keywords in here are only um, repeated once. Let's go ahead and add Python twice in here now. And then our, um, our outcome should be updated to be the key of Python to the value of two, which means Python has been repeated twice. Now, quite rightfully, it does say Python two, which means our algorithm is working perfectly fine with even different sets of data. Now let's go ahead and change this to uh, using at another time and then we'll do how another time and create another time as well. Cool, let's run this now. And as you see, how has been updated to two, create has been updated to two, um, using has been updated to two and Python has been updated to two and the rest of the keywords are still on one. So as you see, this algorithm is working pretty well for us. You can use this algorithm for different programs where you might want to make a chatbot or something and want to weigh out which keyword is more, um, let's say more, um, what do you call it? What pretty much makes more sense the other one. So more relevant than the other one. You could use this to give a keyword a score pretty much when you're using searches. So that was about it guys for this tutorial, hope you actually understood how this algorithm works. I do understand it's a bit complex to understand in the first go, but if you did understand it, I would recommend going through it again and again and then practicing it so that you can actually understand how this simple looking code does a complex task in here to make our life a lot easier. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial because it's a lot different than what we usually do. Um, uh, if you'd like to donate to the channel or support the channel directly, you can do so by either being a Patreon and signing up using the link in the description. Or you can also um, you, you, you can also use a super chat emoji or a highlighted message. I'm not forcing anyone to do so, but if you'd like to do so, go ahead. Also guys, do consider joining the Discord channel, which is going to be stated in the description for a lot of fun. And if you have any suggestions, drop them in the community tab under my post. I will see your beautiful faces in the next tutorial. Peace.